today we'll be comparing chipsets over these two mini PCs. The GMK Tech M7 and M7 Pro are priced roughly $20 apart in their bare bones configuration. One a Ryzen 6850H and the other a 6950H. We'll put both the chipsets through their paces and run them head to head with multiple benchmarks and see how they game. Grab a cup of tea and welcome to Team Bandori. Subscribble. With the same memory, storage and case, the only thing that differs from these two machines is an extra 200 megahertz in both CPU and GPU speeds. Both mini PCs will have TDP set to 65 watts and will give it four gigabytes of frame buffer. We'll be using Windows 11 updated to the latest version. And this applies to the adrenaline drivers too, which are set to the default settings. We'll get the ball rolling with Geekbench, and both systems sit firmly at the upper end of the Zen 3 Plus architecture. The extra speed of the 6950H does help with the CPU and GPU, and while it should sound obvious, when we add speed there's always a chance of thermal throttling, which doesn't seem to be the case with either of these machines. We can see the increased TDP setting can improve the benchmark scores, but it's only when the system is fully pushed when you'll notice any real gains. Let's move on to some inbuilt game benchmarks, starting off with Forza Horizon 5. And as we want to test its limits, we'll be turning off VSync. Straight from the get go, the 6950H has an 8% lead. The extra speed on the GPU side really makes a difference. Next up, Grid Autosport, and here are the settings. At the podium, both systems are neck and neck, but once the race is on, the M7 Pro pulls ahead. Next up, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and it's set to DirectX 12, 1080p and medium settings.
Next up is Civilization VI, Gathering Storm. But while the M7 Pro is clearly faster, the average score says something else. Let's move on to Cyberpunk 2077. It drags most systems to a crawl, so in this case we'll leave settings to 1080p default. An increase of 25% does look very impressive, but real gameplay can tell another picture. For example, in the market area, the performance is near enough neck and neck. Next up is Rocket League at 1080p high. Both systems are clearly very playable, but the 6950H wins out. Here's another favourite of the channel, Dota 2. It tended to be best looking on DirectX 11. 30 seconds to battle. As we start the game, both systems again are neck and neck when it comes to performance. Portents. But as the game progresses, the 6950H speeds ahead. Fortnite, 1080p high on the performance renderer.
While it's pretty difficult to get a like-for-like -like comparison, both systems are very playable in this state. The GMK Tech M7 and M7 Pro are undoubtedly impressive mini PCs. And as the bottleneck is the onboard GPU, it'd be a prime candidate to attach a full size graphics card via the Oculine port for much extra juice. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tura. And flick my dong.